Hello everyone, Merry Christmas and welcome to Lawrence Attempts to Drive a two-seater open top sports car in the snow. This is probably not going to go very well. Um, there are a lot of um, a lot of mark coloured vehicles around here. I think I don't want to be here. So this is Manhunt Checkpoint and we are today playing in the um, in the rainbow mode and that means that all the car when a car when an AI car spawns in it will always be the colour of the hunter who was nearest to it when it spawned in or technically it's the hunter who caused it to be spawned in but it's effectively whoever was nearest and so um, despite the fact that I'm in a green car at the moment this is just my starter car which is why it's got my name on the back of it and stuff like that um, my colour my colour has been set to pink for reasons of making it easier to uh, tell which cars are which cars are due to the prey oh I was going to try and steal that car, but I didn't have enough grip to reverse. Um, so yeah, my cars, all my cars are pink. Each of the hunters has their own colour, and the cars that they cause to be spawned in will appear in their colour. So, so what that means is, as I drive around the city, I will generally be surrounded by lots and lots of pink cars. But as I start to get near to a hunters, I'll start to be, I'll start to see cars of their colour as well. And I can sort of, to an extent, I can work out, I can guess where they are by where the, where the other coloured cars are coming from, that sort of thing. So, I have to try and get all the checkpoints. The hunters have to try and work out which car, which of the myriad of pink cars is me, and try and stop me. Now, there's an orange um, Range Rover just gone around the corner over there, so that means that Mike is around here somewhere. And if that had been a better car, I'd have been quite tempted to go and steal it, because I do need to switch to um, a different colour car at some point, I think. I very much want to not be driving pink cars the whole time, because they do stick out... And as soon and when the hunters see pink cars, they think of, they think of me. So they're going to be expect they're going to be expecting me to be mostly driving pink cars. In fact, let's let's follow that um, that Range Rover. I don't really want a Range Rover because they're not very good. Even in the snow, they're still not great. This felon is probably a better car. However, orange is a better colour for tr hopefully keeping me safe. So if that stops at a traffic light, I shall have it. It's not stopping at traffic lights, it's going straight through here because the lights were green when it got to it. So I'm going to continue following it and attempting to keep an eye out behind me because last time I tried to do something like this, I ended up changing car in front of a hunter as usual and getting attacked. So, let's go for a quick car change here like this and then pull off and join the traffic over here. Now, the problem with this, this theory is that, yeah, me being in a... Um, a car that isn't pink is a good idea. It's probably going to be safer because the hunters won't expect me to be, or it'll be less obvious, I think. The downside is if you have one orange car in a sea of pink cars, then it's not quite as subtle as I'd like it to be, put it that way. Especially if it's a different one of the hunters. So if, if Mike sees this, it's probably going to, it's, there's a reasonably good chance it'll fool him because he'll be used to seeing lots and lots of orange cars around so he'll expect it but if Tristan turns up and sees one orange car and probably a few purple cars and a load of pink cars then he's going to get very very suspicious of the orange car because it's the odd one out it'll be the sort of the it'll stick out because everything else is different and so that's going to make it dangerous so much as I hate to say it I kind of need to find Mike and try and stick knit and try and get close to him and that's a Kind of a horrible idea. Now that um, sounds like a dangerous idea, but it's the best way to sort of to try and blend in. And this game is all about blending in, as you as you well know from all of the runs you've seen me do. So, so we're going to see how that goes. I need to get down to the uh, the docks entrance, as you can see. It's, it's way off over that way. So, I mean, there's there's several ways to get to it. Really, there's you can come from Elysian Island. Or you can come straight down the road from Mirror Park. And I'm thinking I prefer the Mirror Park route. And if I try and go a bit faster, then maybe I can be at the front of the line of pink cars. And hopefully, and maybe I'll see some other cars start to spawn in in other colours soon. They're all pink coming towards me though, which makes me think there probably isn't a hunter down this way. At least, not very close. And I'm only just south of Mirror Park. This has been... So far, I, I mean, I spawned in Mirror Park at the start of this run. So my entire run so far has been me making it just across the edge of Mirror Park at an incredibly slow rate. Uh, okay, so let's ooh, try and get around the corner there. That didn't go very well. <clears throat> Even at low speeds, the baller is not great at turning. 
but then it's based on a Range Rover, so what do you expect? Okay, so there's quite a way to go. It's quite a long drive from here to the um, to the uh, the docks entrance. So I am going to do some overtaking. We are nearly at the oil fields checkpoint, actually. So I'm I'm getting there. I'm going to approach it from a slightly odd direction, but that can only be a good thing. Ooh, was that another? No, it's a pink car. I thought that was an orange car then, and uh, got got um, excited isn't quite the right word. Worried is probably a better word. Okay, so I'm going to carry on following this. Um, this highway for now. And if the hunters are lurking around the checkpoint, which they might be, um, they can do that to an extent. But they're not, they're not supposed to camp it. But they're allowed to lurk in the vicinity of the checkpoint. That's certainly okay. Then soon, they're going to start seeing the odd pink car turning up, or pink truck in this case, in the case of this one in front of me. Let's try and hide behind it for now. So I think I'm now getting just about close enough that it's time I start being a little bit more cautious. Ooh, or I could do the exact opposite of caution. Here's a thought. What if, instead of being sensible and cautious, what if I drive up here, go cross country through the sort of the no man's land around here, try and find my way down onto the road without damaging my car at all? Like this. Come on, Range Rover, you can climb over a pipe. Yes, you can. Good. We can come down here. There's nothing behind me. Good. So if I can get back onto the road here, then I can approach the checkpoint from a completely unexpected direction. Is that, That's a green, a green truck. Where's the way out of here without ramming through buses? Here it is. Good. I hope Mike is down here as well, otherwise I'm going to stick out like a sore thumb. And what I probably should be doing here is switching to one of these green vehicles. That's probably a good idea. Yes, let's do that. I think being in the right colour is worth a smashed windscreen, a uh, smashed window. I should have done that from the other side because I have a theory. I've no idea how accurate my theory is, but I have a theory that you're slightly safer off if you have a smashed window on the passenger side than the driver's side. Um. I don't know though. Oh, that was actually uh, actually Mark going past me there. Okay, I can't see traffic lights. I don't know when it's my turn to go. I think it's my turn to go now. I don't care. Oh, there were my traffic lights. Okay, I did run the red, but only slightly. Um, I'm going to put my foot down and try and get out of here. So. As you've noticed, it's very, very snowy at the moment, and that's part of the reason I've been messing around with some of the slightly more SUV-y type vehicles. And so, yeah, it's snowy, that means the grip is not great, and hopefully that's going to make it easier than normal for me to get away. Potentially it's going to make it harder, because I'm, it's, it's going to be harder for me to drive because because the grip is poor, There's, it's very, very slippery. There is an head. There's a pedestrian, sorry pedestrian. Um, so the, my grip is, is absolutely dreadful. There are some orange cars. That means Mike's around. Oh dear. They're all around here somewhere. Tristan's still following me. So, okay. So. Um, I can. I, I have. I will have trouble getting away because of the um, because of the l l lack of grip. However, Tristan is driving a Windsor, which is heavier and hopefully less grippy than my uh, than my Radius. So we're going to see how this goes. Oh dear, that didn't go badly. Is apparently the answer. So I've got two of them right behind me. Oh no, Ed, Ed, Ed's had the same problem I did. Oh, that, those don't break. <laughs> okay, well, Ed is probably going to catch up reasonably quickly because I'm going in a straight line. But I don't know what else to do at this point. Oh, there's a corner. Can I beat the tree? Almost. <laughs> yeah, so the grip is absolutely terrible in these conditions. Um, but then that's sort of why we're doing it. Because we thought it'd be fun, it'd be interesting, it'd be different. And, of course, it'd be Christmassy and festive, which is, uh, which is always lovely. Oh, golf course next, okay. Oh, corner. <laughs> How much did I slow down there? Tristan didn't really make it round as well, but he took, a, he took a much wider line than I did, so he didn't lose as much speed, so that's a shame. Um, the trick, somehow, is to make him have to take a different line to me. Sorry, have to take the same line as me when he's not ready for it, and I did not do it right there at all. Uh, hello, Pete. <laughs> Mm, 
Okay, well, I thought I'd take the spin there. I even braked a little bit to make it easier for him to spin me. With the theory that then I could just go in whichever... I can go in whichever direction I happen to be pointing. They have to chase me. Oh dear, Pete's got out. I'm in trouble. <laughs> right, we were talking about this earlier. That it's, it's difficult to get up here in a... Um, in a lot of the coupes, so so maybe that's be be quite a good way for me to get away. Um, we'll see how that goes. I hear a rattling sound. Did they get a tyre? Yes, they did. One of my front tyres is missing. Okay, I'm in trouble. Although actually earlier I did manage to do a reasonably good run in a in an in a um, uh, in a radius with a missing tyre um, because it still had a certain amount of speed and a little bit of cornering ability and yeah, three tyres. So. Yeah, I, actually, that looks like it's gone okay. They are a long, long way back. Oh, there's a truck there. Don't go through the truck. Ooh, this is tricky. Let's go this way. Right, Mark is still there behind me. He's probably get. I don't know how. I don't know how that corner went for him. I can't. I, I can see a car behind me, but I don't know which of them it is. Uh, it might even be an AI. You never know. I'm going to start slowing down here so I can try and get around this corner without too much of a too much drama. There is an orange. I think that's an orange car still following me. So I've still got. If that's that's probably Mike. Well, if it's an orange car, it's definitely Mike. Um, or corner in kind of. I'm actually leaning in my seat because I'm trying so hard to make the car go around these corners um, with some success. I mean, I don't know how much the leaning is actually helping, but car does seem to be at least taking the corners to an extent. So let's try the old trick where you drop onto the highway and go in the opposite direction here, shall we? Um, oh yeah, there's, there's Mike on the highway behind me. Okay. So as... Oh no, that was bad. I was going to try and corner and go off, the, go off the, um, the, the, sort of the bumpy off bit there. But there was... Um, <laughs> I didn't have the grip. Partly because of the snow and partly probably because of the, uh, the missing tyre. But anyway, either way, it didn't work, so I'm not doing that. I'm going to come off here instead, um, and I'm going to go left, which isn't my normal. Normally, I tend to go right because I'm trying to get, trying to hide behind that. Crikey! That was Mike overshooting seriously on that corner. Um, so I'm. I think he was probably trying to trying to just hit me hard enough to completely disrupt my. Uh, to completely disrupt me. But I was I was actually going just about fast enough that he didn't um, that he wasn't able to hit me, so he just careened into the wall instead. However, it doesn't seem to have slowed him down very much, and now everything has turned into lemons. So I think that was Ed there in the middle of the road. Yes, it was. Okay, let's go up here. I'm not sure if this is a good route to take or not. Um, in fact, let's just carry on straight and drop off here. Because I think my best bet is probably going to be to keep going in a mostly straight line at this point. Oh no, I saw someone drop off the uh, off the top there as well. Um, yeah, Ed, Ed's there behind me. So he's going to have seen me go onto this bridge. The question is, what do I do on the other side of the bridge? And can I disappear into the mist? No, I can't. He's catching up. Okay, I'm going to try and corner here like this. That's gone okay. All of the pink cars are turning into yellow cars. Oh no! I ran out of... I ran out of... ran out of <laughs> talent, of, of grip, of something, anyway. Oh. Let's use that truck to help me turn. There we go, that went okay. Onto the highway here. Yes, I think Ed has overshot there a bit. Oh, not, not by as much as I hoped, though. He's he's managed to get, keep his car under, under, under control and is now still behind me. Right. Maybe no, I was going. I was considering going jumping off at that point, but he's too close. He's the wrong distance behind me. He's close enough that he'd see me do it, but far enough back that he won't be thrown off by me doing it. Um, there's a load of orange around as well, so that gives me a bit of early warning about a potential mic problems that, to come. If I just use that wall to get me around the corner. That worked quite nicely. Uh, we'll go around this car like that. I'm just going to end up going round around the highway system at this rate, and he doesn't seem to be able to catch up with me very well. I don't, I don't know whether that's because he's not trying to, or whether it's because he actually can't. But there's definitely some. But he might be deliberately hanging back a bit and giving a running commentary on where I'm going to the, to the rest of the hunters so they can try and catch up with me. That is a sort of fairly standard hunter tactic. Oh, I even braked to try and wait, put the weight on the front of the car so it would, it would go around the corner better, but it 
They didn't. <laughs> well, he's... Oh, God. I was say, he slowed me down a lot there. So that's probably going to mean there's going to be more hunters around in a moment. But it's got me a bit of distance from him. Can I do anything useful with that distance? That's the big question. And it's, it's the old problem of how do you get away from someone who's driving a car that's faster than yours? Um, I'm not allowed to shoot him from inside the car. I don't even have weapons that could do so, I don't think. Um, so, really, it's just down to can I pull off some sort of cunning trick to allow me to get away from him? And I'm not sure I'm, I'm not sure what to do, to be honest. Is this a way through? Please be a way through. Kind of is, actually. Ow. Run! Oh, he got me. <laughs> oh, it was worth a try. If I hadn't, if I hadn't got knocked over by him hitting my car, then maybe, maybe I'd have got. I don't know. Maybe I'd have got away. Maybe I wouldn't. Jingle bells, Lawrence smells. He's trying to run away. He's got a car and is going far, and we'll get him anyway. That's my super tactical stealth technology. <laughs> Is he going to try something sneaky, do you think? I was thinking like trying to come down into the corner of industrial from oil fields off the highway or something. I have a pink pickup truck heading towards a checkpoint quite near from the east side. Uh, yes, and there is a truck spawning. Uh, I think it's at checkpoint, yes. Can you proceed to checkpoint? Yeah, yeah a lot of pink cars, pink cars checkpoint. at checkpoint. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think he's in the. Yes. Uh, Tristan, I think one of these two cars here, the green, yeah, the green or, yeah, it's the green one, probably. Just going through. Or the pink one following him. I'm yeah. just about right. I'm behind you guys. Probably the green one. Oh, yes, right? Yeah, uh, turning right heading off west from Island. Right off Elysian Island. Yeah, to the bridge there. Uh, one makes a weird noise. Oh, that doesn't in the snow. Uh, so west from checkpoint on first one uh, yeah. right to the heading north. northeast now, heading back into over the bridge into industrial. Opposite, yeah. opposite way, Ed. Uh, north from the checkpoint. Wrong side of the road. Heading heading north now? Yes. I've gone to this silly road. What kind of car is it? Uh, green, maybe a radius? Lime green. Dark green or light green? Lime green. Way Still back heading north. Uh, no turn oh, on the rail lines. Oh right, uh, on the other ghetto, side. Of sorry, yeah, I missed the left turn. Rail lines in ghetto. Uh, okay. Just turned off the rail lines to the right by the car park, the multi-story car park there. Uh, approaching a petrol station. Uh, uh, Behind you, Mark. Uh, tram lines. Heading northwest. Uh, approaching the end edge of ghetto. Turning right to go across the north edge of ghetto. I think the car wash is near here, but he's turned left before that. Right. Hello, Pete. Uh, uh, leaving ghetto now. Heading which way? Uh, north. Uh, east along the road just north of ghetto. Yeah, here. Yeah. Nah, yeah. didn't get it. Heading that, uh, to that Square Squares. Squares. Then yes, that one. Uh, Square Squares, southwest corner. Yep, got you. Yep. East from the southwest corner. Don't see what's going on. Here. Oh, that no, I got him. I pinned, pinned him. Stand by. Oh, I got knocked over. Mark, no, no, Mike. Mike. Sorry, my bad. Oh, he's doing the thing with the thing. 
Once yeah, through square squares. I'm going around the west side. Just I'd had a beat like on that. Like. I mean, he he was training going through here. My bad. Uh, okay, uh, heading west. west. Still heading west, uh, turning, uh, uh, turning sorry, right I'm... towards shopping centre. Yeah, I'm missing a tyre. No worries. Sorry, that may have been my fault. Uh, heading up the east side of shopping centre, still heading north. I'm quite far away. Uh, still heading north, looks like he's turned uh, left across the north side yeah. of top. Of, yep. And still heading west from the north side of shopping centre. Still heading west along that one road. Yeah, he's turned south at low car parks towards five ways. Uh, and left at five ways towards shopping centre again. Passing south side of shopping centre now. Heading uh, down. He's cr trying to get onto the highway, but he crashed on some rocks. So did I? Guess I'm sorry. Uh, uh, heading west on the highway. That's west on the highway. Right side of the road. When I say right, I mean wrong, obviously. Um, and then now onto the left side of the road. Oh no, tried to go to the left side of the road a bit and missed the thing, so he's still on the right hand side of the road. Uh, he's right in the distance, can't quite see if he's coming off or not. Ah, uh, crap. He is coming off at Movie Studios. I'm just going to torpedo him here. I missed, he's turned left. Uh, he's heading south towards Chinese Mo No, turned left, he's heading uh, east uh, towards Art Gallery. Still heading east. Uh, passing Art Gallery now. Art oh, Gallery car. Still heading east. No, it's turned uh, into a car park? Yeah, just. The right. the, no, before the bridge. Right, that. That underground pass thing. Oh, I don't know where park. he is. He did uh, the jumping over under. If, if, if I'm still in the screen radius, which I think I am, he's still he's in the green bridge. radius. Yeah, he's over the bridge to uh, Mirror Park. He did uh, the jump on up or under. Because what? What? He, he kept going straight after you called out that he turned into a parking lot. Oh, okay. Lot. Oh, did he not? Um, it might be someone else turning then. It was yeah. right in the distance. So I'm chasing him down south towards docks. Okay. Oh, he's wedged it. Come, on, come here. Okay, I don't know exactly where I am, but I'm somewhere towards dogs. If you still on his tail, then that's that's enough. You keep calling it, we'll eventually catch up. Yeah. Yep. He's going back over a bridge towards the west. I do not know which bridge this is yet. Uh, we are oh, we are near Templar Hotel. We are downtown on the bridge on the bridge near the Sprunks ramp, ramp downtown. Oh right. We're just north. We're of now near. Yeah, we're near Square of Squares. But we're all still on this bridge. Still going west. Ooh, that bridge. Yeah, the big bridge. You're on the highway. goes on forever. Yep. We're now in uh, airport spaghetti. Oh. Oh. Well, he didn't. Okay, he didn't. He turned right, not left. I'm sorry. He turned right, so he's going north uh, to. Where's he going? North towards Bread Car Park. Still on the highway. He's back on our, our, the old highway that you guys have started this chase on. East-west, heading which way? Uh, east. Okay, he just took the ramp to Augury. Turned left, north. Where's he going? He's going back to the shopping center. Maybe he needs to get some Christmas presents. Yep. Ooh, he, he hit me. That was mean. Okay, he's driving back down towards Augury. Seems. Yeah. What's he in now? He's 
over. He's still in the damn radius. He's in over. He's driving down over south towards Ghetto. Under the bridge to Ghetto. I think I'm not far from you. Okay. He, ooh, a dodgy alleyway. Uh oh. I think he's fucked. Nice. Nice. We are getting nice long chases out of this. That was an unfortunate alley for you. Yeah, if you hadn't hit my car and knocked me over, I might have got away. Well, I might have got away a little bit further away because I got up the steps before I fell before uh, before you were out. I was sort of hoping I'd be able to block up the um, the steps and just get up and out of the way, but yeah, you were able to shoot me. <laughs>